These guys have a combined record, Mike, of 11 and 1. Did you realize that? These guys have, are, are very, uh, very impressive records. 4-0 for Flick, 7-1 for Keepers. Well, jo Josh is ranked number two in Wisconsin. Okay. So Peter is ranked number one in Wisconsin. Okay, very good. Both have fought in Wisconsin quite a few times. Okay. And Josh is from Minnesota, and Peter is from Wisconsin. Okay. But, you know, Minnesota and Wisconsin, they go back and forth. Oh, that's right, right by the border. All right, here we go. We've got another amateur title bout about to take place. Touch of gloves, and we've got a fight starting off. Here we go. Keepers throws a couple punches, and it's a quick takedown attempt by Fleck, pushing Keepers up against the cage. And he gets the takedown. Keepers in the black trunks with the blue trim. I'm sorry, Fleck. Rather, with the black shorts with the blue trim. Keepers has the black shorts with red trim. Keepers back to their feet. Both fighters back to their feet. Keepers is up against the cage right now. Peter and threw a big flight. knee. Yeah, Peter threw a big knee, connected to the body, to the leg. But then Flett quickly goes for the takedown. Mike, what can you tell me about uh, Fleck's wrestling background? Uh, I heard I heard he was a wrestler. Uh, like I said, he's he's undefeated and he's really good at squeezing people and getting them down. So far, what we've seen out of this bout is Fleck look Fleck looks to have the wrestling background more so with at least by the takedown attempts and stuff like Peter that. Peter got his guard back from side. If you had to put a label on on Keeper's background, what would you say that his is more of? What is, uh, he, what is he, he like? When I first originally more? made him, uh, he was a striker. Okay. Uh, but now he's been, you know, training at SSMMA, working yep. on the ground. And, uh, you know, uh, the Austin's work on the ground as well up at the, the academy, you know, uh, coached by Caitlin Young and Greg Nelson and those fighters, I believe. So uh, that's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, some big punches coming down by Fleck. Now Keepers is looking for an armbar attempt. And Fleck momentarily had his arms locked and then he. Pulled him apart to throw a couple punches. Now he's back in guard position out of safety, out of that arm bar. Nice. Looks like somebody may be bleeding, Mike. Yeah, we see some blood see dripping a, from somewhere. Yep, see a little bit of blood on Keeper's left thigh. Keeper's kind of trying to push off with his left foot onto uh, Flex's right thigh. A little bit of a scramble. Keepers looks to be going for a submission attempt he, right now. He needs to lock his guard and start pulling that arm. He's kind of Josh on top. Oh, he's started working side. Keepers trying to get his guard back again. Looking for half. Oh. Now Fleck lands a few big blows there from the side. Peter needs to start looking for the sweep. It looks like Fleck is back on top and in mount position. It's a little bit high, I want to say. We've got about 10 seconds left in the first round. Peter gives up his back, and Fleck just stays on tight, and he throws a few more punches from the back. And that calls for the end of the first round. Mike, this bout is scheduled for five rounds. Yep, big welterweight vacant title. Highlights of that round, Mike? What do you think so far? What do you think we've seen? Uh, from what I see now, it looks like, uh, you know, Josh get him down to the ground, work side. Peter will get his guard. Uh, Peter's uh, obviously looking uh, for a couple submissions with the arm with the uh, Kimura. Um, and, uh, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's been uh, pretty fast action. Kind of what we expected to see a little bit. You know, you had mentioned a little bit about Flex wrestling background and, and uh, his interest in taking a fight to the ground. Peter, very, very athletic as well. Um, you know, like you said, went for a few submissions. 
haven't haven't seen a ton on their feet yet as far as boxing, kickboxing, anything like that yet. So I'm hoping this that maybe the second round will show us a little bit more. There's the 10 second mark for the corners to exit the cage. Both guys look like they've got it. plenty of energy to get through this oh, yeah. five-round battle Both as well. Both uh, high-level amateurs here. Yeah, this is a really high-level amateur bout, like you said. Both don't even look like they're sweating. No. Tyrone starts the bout, and Keepers comes out with a couple punches and a high kick by Flett. And then another attempt at a takedown by Fleck. He pulls it in. Keepers... He's kind of on his side right now, from what we can tell. And now he's keepers his back onto his back. Getting his guard back. Trying Looking to get his guard. Triangle. Yep, he's got his leg up high. Fleck is raining down some blows to the side, to the body of keepers. Mike, the action's right in front of us now. Yep. Close to the red corner. Fleck continues to throw punches from inside of Keeper's guard. Standing pretty close, both fighters to each other. Get ready to turn. Get ready to turn. Let's go, Peter. Get ready to turn. Our referee this evening for this bout is Tyrone Roberts, a veteran inside of the cage of 22 years. Fleck continues to throw punches inside of Keeper's guard. Put his head back on the cage, turn it in. Keeper's is staying busy also off of his back, Mike. Yeah, he's constantly moving, get, uh, he's getting his guard back every time. Uh, he's looking for, you know, submission attempts, he's trying to set it up. Uh, Fleck is just trying to stay on top and, uh, you know, I think he's trying to work some size here and uh, just throw down some short punches. You know, Mike, it, it, it's kind of interesting. I can remember I've, I've been involved in this uh, sport. Actually, it'll be since 1997. It'll be 22 years coming up this, later this month. And I can still remember those early days when somebody would get mount position. It was pretty much over. Yeah. You know, and now it's like these high-level amateurs. They don't really get too concerned, don't get too worked up if they get caught in a bad position. They just continue to move and improve their positioning and uh, continue to fight. So yep. big up kick from Keepers. Looks like it possibly landed a flag. Flex still throwing some more punches Keepers inside of busy. the guard. He's yep. throwing punches from bottom yeah. to landing. Yes, absolutely. Both of these guys are staying pretty active on the ground for both positions. You know, it does show a lot. Uh, it shows how, how far the sport has come. Uh, you know, I can still remember back in the day, too, where if a fight went to the ground, you'd have people that would be screaming to stand them up, stuff like that. But as long as the fighters are staying busy, there's no reason to stop them. No, they're both fine. Yeah, they're both competing from there. Both seem comfortable. Oh, we're 10 seconds already, Mike. This round went really, really fast. Yeah, it did. Flex still throwing some punches down. Tries to throw a kick to the leg to end the round. And that is round number two coming to a close. All right, we, we are now getting ready for round number three. Looks like Keepers May, he's got the cut man in there working on uh, one of his eyes. It looks like, or I'm sorry, Fleck has the cut man working on his eye. Looks like he may have a small cut uh, above his left eye. A referee, Tyrone Roberts, be refereeing the uh, this co-main event as well as the main event, which is going to feature two professionals. I had a chance to visit with Tyrone Roberts earlier this evening, and uh, he informed me that. He actually, his first fight was November of 1996 inside of Des Moines. And then later on, uh, about four years later, competed in the UFC. In UFC 26, Cedar Rapids, ultimate field of dreams in 2000. Now here we go, we're ready for round number three. Keepers kind of blocks the kick from Fleck. Fleck throws another kick. 
they tie up. Some punches to the body from Fleck. Knee to the body from Fleck as well. Standing close inside of a, up against the cage. One of the neutral corners. A couple of knees just trying to break down keepers a little bit. And Fleck, somewhat of a toss of a takedown and ends up back on top. It's like, Mike, does it look like he's got side control to you? Now he's got his knee on the belly. Yeah, belly. Yep. Going from out. He needs to start bucking. Peter does I'm from uh, bottom yep. there. Now we're back now, see, in mount position. Went, Josh got high mount. Yep, Josh is pretty high. Now there's the bucking that you were talking about from keepers. The action right in front of us. Keepers rolls over, gives up his back. He's continuing to change position. Fleck throws some punches that are kind of being deflected by keepers' arms. A few of those seem to be getting through by Fleck. Trying to sprawl him out a little bit. Fleck is. Keeper is on his side now, taking a few more punches to the face. He's Peter is continuing to move. And it looks like Fleck has got a rear choke that looks like it may be locked in, Mike. Keeper is doing a good job of trying to fight the hands. He's battling his hands oh, yeah. right now, Fleck. Fleck lands a few more punches to the side of the head of Peter Keepers. Rolls back over, has mount now, Fleck does. Mike, what does is, what is Keepers need to be doing now to try to get out of this dangerous start position? Start bucking, start bucking. He's got to start doing start something. pushing the legs. Yep, he's got to do something or he's going to get stopped. He can't just try to throw punches back from this position. Peter, fuck him up, you! Fleck is doing a good job of staying in tight, staying in a balanced position. Keepers has really got to start moving. There he goes. He tried to buck. Yep, that just cost him, you know, some time. Yep, that just got time. him a little bit more time, exactly. Because he bucked him off. Yep. He needs to move, it. though. There's another one. There's another one. He's trying to buck out of it. He's pushing Fleck up to the top. Ten he may survive left. this round. There's only 10 seconds left of round number three. And that is the end of round number three. I'd say that Fleck pretty much had that round fairly handled uh, from the yep. start. Basically, the way that that round started out, Fleck yep. pushed up against the cage. I think uh, Peter needs to start uh, going for a broken go right after it. Yeah. Uh, I'd say uh, Josh is up three right now. Right, yeah. First couple rounds were fairly close. That one was a little bit more decisive in Fleck's favor. But Peter is definitely wanting to stay into it big time. Right. And, he, you know, I mean, he's, he wants to get out. He wants to advance, stand up, you know, do stuff. So he's, he's working hard to stay in. Yeah, and that's what certainly shows the difference between this level of amateur fighters compared to some of the, the fighters that you may see, you know, that may be new and stuff like that. Um, you know, these, these, guys are, these guys are very, very high level. All right, corners are down and out. Cutman again was inside working on flex. Left eye, it doesn't look like that's advanced much further than what it was last round. Yeah. All right, Mike, let's, get a, let's see what happens here in round. We're in round number four, aren't we? We're in title rounds yep. now. All right, Fleck takes the center of the cage. Keepers backs off just a little bit. A couple of punches, kicks. Fleck, oh, good takedown defense by Keepers that time. Fleck looks to be a little bit more fresh, and he throws a knee to the body of Keepers. Follows up with one to the thigh. You can hear the sense of urgency coming from Keepers Corners right now. Yep. Go, Peter, dig, dig. A few He's knees to the thighs. Low. Yep. Fleck changes levels a little bit, and he sucks him in and gets another takedown. And Mike directly to, well, he had side control for a second. Now I think he's back. 
trying to get his guard. Yeah, trying to get guard. Working it. And that's something that you mentioned early on about these guys is once they get a takedown, they try to advance that position. Don't just settle in on, and guard and, and be happy with that. We're inside of, uh, are we inside of his guard now? Uh, Can't really tell from this. No, it's still yeah, it, kind of. Oh, now he is. Now, yep. Now it looks like uh, Keepers has his guard pretty much back. Fleck is still raining down some punches. Josh Fleck trains at the academy. Currently, he's from Coon Rapids, Minnesota. The stats on him are five foot eleven, 170 pounds. He's a big 170 pounder. Yep. Keepers uh, is absolutely a huge 170 as well. He stands six foot four. Yeah, at 170. At 170, but you know, the best thing to, to get rid of that five six inch height advantage difference in reach is is to do what, Mike? Take them down to the ground. Once the fight gets gets to the ground, then it kind of eliminates any kind of reach advantage that keepers may have had. Right. Mike, I got to say this much: keepers is he's still every bit in this fight. I mean, he's he's there. He needs to try and have some offense because these last couple rounds have been pretty dominant and decisive by Fleck. Yeah, he's got to move. He's got to change position again. You can't just lay there and continue to get hit, even though most of those are hitting his arms. Flat kind of pops up a little bit, allows some space for keepers. Ten seconds. Mike, we're at ten second mark again. All right, and there's the bell for the fourth round. Mike, we're getting ready for round number five. We're getting ready for round number five of this title fight, this vacant amateur welterweight title. All right, here we go. Fleck is getting some work done on his eye again over there in the corner. Doesn't seem to be much of a problem for him. You know, the, the, the part about this that uh, makes it interesting is, is that even though that even though Fleck has, has somewhat dominated the last few rounds, he's looked like this is going to be decisive if this were to go to, to the decision now. The thing about it is, though, is that Keeper is still one punch away from finishing a fight yep. at any and point he, and in time. He is not someone to take lightly either. That's right. Neither fighter. Yeah, as anything we, can happen in any round. That's right. As we get deeper into the fight and into the round, you know, you just got to try to protect yourself and that type of thing because anything certainly can happen, Mike. I've seen a few times where you've ended a fight deep into a fight and, or into the round with just lights out, either a kick to the head or, or some big punches and things like that when you used to fight. Yep, yep. All right, here we go, round number five. Fleck throws a little bit of a kick just to kind of cause some space. And Peter needs Keep to start staying in the center, I think, more rather than backing up. Right. Oh, ooh, that was almost to the head. That was a close knee. That's kind of the risky thing about the amateurs being allowed to throw knees to the body. Sometimes they could climb up a little bit. We've got knee and belly again here, Mike, close to it. With Fleck throwing some punches down on Keeper. Yeah, he's got mount now, Fleck does. Keeper's trying. He's still in the fight. He's still trying to buck out. Get him off of it. He needs to start scooting out right now. Mike, what do you think the game plan should be for Fleck at this point? Just to, to ride it out and, and uh, you know, potentially win a decision? Or do you think that you try to finish the fight still? I think they're both Fleck? trying to finish, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Mike, what submission is he is uh, Fleck going for here? Arm triangle. And he got it. Looks like the fight has been called and stopped. Submission win for Joshua Fleck. Now he takes home the amateur welterweight title. 
North Iowa fights. Seemed like Fleck was just too much early on in that bout. Those first couple of rounds just really took a lot out of Peter. But I know that Peter, you know, being a veteran of, of nine fights now in the amateur rankings, he's a tough kid. He's got nothing to be ashamed of. Fought a, re a really, really good athlete, a very good competitor. You know, I know that Peter Keepers is going to go back to the drawing board at this point. Oh, yeah, he's going to keep moving forward. We're, he's one or two fights away from pro. I don't know what Josh's plans are, yeah. but I know Peter's. Uh, uh, it's Let's go. Get up. you just you live and you learn honestly that's right that's right well you could do and, and here's the deal Josh Fleck I mean he's he's tough you know and here's the thing with that too is that uh, I've seen a lot of professional fighters especially at the welterweight division um, that Fleck would run right through yeah I would say I don't know what his plans are as I well think but this is but his he's, first five round fight yeah that, so yeah he's, he's definitely uh, got a bright future both of these guys do in fact have a bright future inside of mixed martial arts. Name the game. Come on. The fight game. All right, we're going to go up to PJ for the official announcement. The closeout bout number nine.